my dear subscribers and everybody who is not yet just subscribe um, because we are here today with the University of Nebraska it's West Central Research Center and it's an awesome field day here today we're hearing a lot about new practices innovations they do in the climate change practices and uh, cover crops uh, and irrigation systems you name it so it's a lot of very useful information over here we're going to be sharing with you so stay tuned because we are here not just for us we are here for you let's go Sounds good, like Metro. <laughs> Hi everybody, nice to meet you all today. We are Metro Grain Cleaners and we are one-stop shop for any of your grain cleaning needs. We have machinery as small as 200 bushels per hour all the way to 8,000 bushels per hour. We have a traditional screen cleaners. Um, we have color sorters for any of uh, your discoloration color problems, so mix crops or whatever you name it. And also we have innovative airflow cleaners. We have one of our air cleaners here today. That's our smallest model. You can come actually play push buttons, see, we're playing right now with the rice sample. And it's actually, you could particularly see how you can separate seed quality, food grade, and some crop, what we have there. It looks like it has some ergot and wheat seeds and chaff. So you can clearly see what the airflow unit does and see what it can do for you as well. Don't hesitate, ask questions. I'm here for you. I'm Anna. And uh, follow us on uh, all our social medias. You can see me on most of the videos. So you can put the face to the voice <laughs> and kind of recognize it's still me. So and um, let's make it a cool day, even though it's going to be a really hot day. This is our smallest machine. The production is up to 200 bushels per hour. If you're constant, doing constant feed, and practically you just want to blow chaff and stuff. If you want to do more precise grading, you might have to slow down, depending how bad your sample is. So we have a rice sample here. So we lose this handle up and start feeding pretty much cleaning chamber. And that's what we're gonna have falling. So if we add more air, we bear more quality products. So what we want to do, Oh, I think that bug didn't like that stream. So, this is designed for uh, the heavier mixture. So okay. if you have something heavier, bigger than that, let's say you have some peas, you know, in here, right. or stone, or so you name it. So that's your heaviest grain here. Okay. So you can separate it if you want and plant okay. it because okay. it's uniform seed. Right. It's going to give you simultaneous germination and simultaneous maturation, better yields, potentially. Okay. That's pretty much like a cash grain usually, uh, okay. or you can combine them together and just sell. Mm -hmm. Sometimes people combine more because this sample just doesn't oh, okay. look good it, because it has a lot of, uh, uh, not just chaff actually. If you look in here, look at this. Mm -hmm. It has ergot mm -hmm. and vom. There's some pin pinkish kernel where you can see the fusarium happening hmm. already. You see how much? Yep. yep. And it's a lot of ergot. Yeah. This is definitely, you know, above tolerance level. Mm -hmm. So we're able to clean all that. And as well as all the chaff, you know, right. all the chaff goes over here. Oh, okay. So here you can see some white heads, right. you know, and there is plenty. Stuff that isn't uh, cracked would be in here too or here covered? What, which one? The crack. Uh, yeah, bro. Crack yeah, crack kernels, they would be here. Okay. And um, they're not light enough to get here all the way. IDK would be here as well. Okay. Uh, all what we have also here, the wheat seeds. So all your oh, weeds, yep. they're going to be here as well. The production usually based on the mid-sized grain. Okay. okay. As you go bigger, you know, it's, it's my variety. Mm -hmm. So average is for, for wheat. Okay. You know, that's okay. the, usually all the grain cleaners, they give sure. you for wheat. Sure. 
It's really easy to clean anything around, like soybeans, uh, peas, and stuff like that, because they're very specific shape and they fly differently against the air. Okay. So what the cool thing about this machinery? No moving parts, no lubrication points, zero maintenance. So there's no screens to change. You can go from one commodity to another in seconds. You just open the air all the way, clean the machine, so all the crap what is here, stop, we'll clean it out and start feeding another another crop. How much wind do you get to blow like 20 mile an hour you think or oh it all depends you see more speed the the more wind it's okay. not about uh this uh, speed of the wind yeah it's about exactly same pressure across oh. the whole chamber oh, okay. so that's what called laminar airflow so it's same up and down side to side okay that's have uh, what it's accomplished by specially shaped blades on the fence okay. and also there is um like um the crossing lines like that they break in air into laminar airflow so we have the same pressure side to side up and down mm -hmm. so there is no turbulence and stuff like that that mm -hmm. give us opportunity not just to blow light stuff but right. give grading you know have a specific grading right we have a main location in a chicago area in hampshire illinois pindy grove Ch okay. hampshire they it's funny, UPS have it as Hampshire, but FedEx have it as Pinji Grove. Okay. So you okay. never know. So, but the thing is, um, we also have a location in North Dakota. We've been over nine years now on the American market, and uh, since 2003, all over in Europe, in Eastern Europe mostly. Oh yeah, that's So awesome. you clean out, Airgate, you can see here. Oh yeah. Huh. Yeah, that's great. So here, basically, you can mix and match any way you want. So see? you can separate these and have this drop out the heaviest and exactly. so on instead of This can be things. moved on another side if you want. Oh. And with bigger machinery, it's done actually by handle. Uh. You just redirect the flow. So you can have as many here going to one direction. Okay. And we have tons of videos online. You can see how okay. it's done by our customers, how they okay. set it up. So basically, you can separate many ways. You can do your own seed and it will, be, it will be uniform seed. When you plant it, you have uh, more chances for simultaneous germination and maturation. Right. So better yields, ultimately, and also better survival rate. So if it's like becoming cold right. or dry, you know, the plum, nice, big grain have right. a better survival rate. Right. This is goes as a, as a donation because Milish played with this machine before and he liked it. He used it for his research extensively and they for him or what, what? For, for, for University of Nebraska he used it for for his researches and they ask for one they say okay guys we're not gonna have budget for a while but we like the machine so that's it's pretty much that's why we're donating it to the research center thank you we appreciate so when you guys play with it and you you probably after you play and you teach us what we don't know yet because we're doing it for 10 years now I'm pretty sure we're gonna learn something and then you probably will tell us something from science perspective which we have no idea of so this is we actually hoping to benefit from this merge of science and technology and I'm pretty sure you guys are going to have some awesome discoveries there. You can share it with us and with the world. No, we will. You see this? And you see, look yep. at this. Yeah. This is nice dark seed material. This is green stuff. They never yep. germinate. They're not going to give you any good. So it splits any bulk material. Not just grain. Actually, we have people who are um, separating uh, shredded garbage like a plastic and needles, you know, and stuff like that. So it breaks material by relative density. So you have heavier, lighter, lighter, lightest. So over here, you can see we just run the hemp. See, this is big plum seeds. This is a greener stuff. There is no weight here. Just grab it by hand. There is no weight. It's just all biomaterial. And if you pop that, there's no heart, nothing there. It's empty. It's nothing, it's just my material. This is all air. Different objects, they fly differently against the air. So it's no way small We're size will fall size here. Okay. You see, they're different size, obviously. Yep, yep. But uh, I was talking about wheat. Uh, you want, you're talking about certified like yes, a yeah, sizing? Yeah. No, this is, doesn't do that. 
I mean, you can check it. It's pretty much, right. uh, sometimes it's better than certified seed. I have to tell you that. Well, I can believe that. But, <laughs> but um, if you have to have certified, then you need to use what they want you to use. Right. When you open the hopper, it starts going down. The heavier things fall first and lighter things blow to the end. So if you look at this and this, Sure. You see this is yeah. all green stuff? Yeah. They have barely any nutrition. Yeah. And this is your best stuff. Sure. That's something what you can plant and it will gonna give you a simultaneous germination sure. and maturation. And you can do it with any grain, as small as alfalfa seeds or puppy seeds all the way to chickpeas. You just reduce air or increase air. Ah. So for something heavier you just go up with the air like this. Yeah. Sure. And you clean heavier stuff. Yeah. Very good. Thank you sure. For Appreciate My it. pleasure. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Take care.